Hello, we are Massive Trigger. This is the 2nd of May, and this is the first ever while we are playing gaming news. So what I intend to do is just talk about some of the biggest stories of this week and just give a few of my comments if anyone actually gives a monkeys. So, first story is, it's been confirmed this week by Konami that Silent Hills has officially been cancelled. So, are we surprised? We shouldn't be really. Uh, I think it was a few weeks ago that we found out that Kojima was leaving after Phantom Pain. So, yeah. Um, it was one of those ones with, oh yes. Yeah, we should have saw this coming. Um, it's a disappointment, obviously. Um, it's a disappointment whenever a game's cancelled, to be honest. But with, you know, a sort of a dream team of um, Norman Reedus and uh, Kojima um, and also Del Toro would have been interesting to see what kind of freaks and monsters that they would have come up but you know so so there will be still Silent Hill games I'm sure of that there was a statement released um, in terms of um, Kojima and Del Toro being involved discussions on the future Silent Hill projects are currently underway uh, please stay tuned so that was from Konami so you know Silent Hill as itself is gone but Silent Hill will be back, I have no doubt. So that's that bit of news. Second bit of news we've got, we've got a new uh, Batman Arkham Knight trailer, uh, all about dual pl play, um, which look cool. I mean, as always, the, um, you know, the rock steady uh, Batman games are, are fantastic. And again, another dark, sinister um, trailer. Um, really hyped for that, looks really good. Um, one thing that was announced around the same time though was um, there'll be a season pass with it. Uh, it's going to be, I believe, around £33.40. Um, so it seems a bit pricey to me. Uh, details are pretty sketchy on what will be in there. Um, apparently there'll be um, story, story mission, new story missions, additional super villains, um, that invade Gotham, and then you're also going to have Batman Beal skins, uh, advanced challenge maps, alternative character skins, drivable race tracks, blah blah blah. It's going to be for six months. Um, seems a bit pricey to me. Um, seems to this this twenty five pounds that we uh, in we're paying in the UK and elsewhere. Obviously, different prices. It seems to have gone up. Uh, Seems to be something that um, seems to Bungie and Destiny started a trend with uh, slightly higher priced um, season passes. I bought season passes before. Um, I know that I'm sure that this one again will be. Um, if you want all the content, you will get it cheaper by buying the season pass, and I understand that. Um, but to be honest with you, I think what I will do is if I want any of that content I'll buy it separately. I think skins and race tracks and um, challenge maps, you know, they, they're not high on my priority list. Um, really looking forward to the game. Um, I will, you know, jump in with some of the DLC. I have no doubt whether or not the season pass, um, you know, whether or not the season pass is something I'll get. I, I just, I don't think so. And, you know, I know people will say, season pass, season pass, season pass, they're just trying to rip money out of us. Look, don't buy them if you don't want them. Um, I, I have bought them in the past. Best one uh, I invested in was the, the Borderlands 2 one. That was, the, the content you got back was great for that. Um, but yeah, anyway, there we go. And that was followed by a cheeky Just Cause 3 trailer. And I've blown away by this. Love the Just Cause franchise. Um, they really stepped it up with the second one, and ho he's hoping that it's going to be uh, even better with the third one. Some nice little touches in there, wingsuit, that seems to be in there. We looked at some destructible, destructible plants as the car was drive through. Um, it was seemed to have extended the multi-tether. Um, I, I believe in Just Cause 2 you would just put two th items together, whack them together. I think they're going to put this up to five now which looks interesting. Um, nice little shot of Rico hanging from underneath the helicopter. Um, so yeah, we're really looking forward to that. Monorails and miniguns as well, which looks quite cool. So uh, that's out holiday 
2015. So looking forward to that. Uh, and then uh, where a bombshell kind of hit was um, Dead Island 2's delayed. Um, and that will be s delayed until sometime in 2016. So um, I was a little bit worried about that. Um, I believe initial uh, release dates for Dead Island 2 was uh, spring of this year. And, uh, you know, you know, at least maybe in the first two quarters of this year. And uh, it just seems it's a long delay till 2016. That, that seems like a long time to me. Um, but is there something wrong there? I, I don't understand. I mean, that, we'll probably find more out, but it just seems a bit worrying that um, a game that was due out probably around now um, is actually being put back to next year. Um, so I don't know what's gone wrong. Um, I'm sure it will come out in the wash. I'm sure it will turn up. Um, I'm sure Dead Island 2 will turn up. Um, maybe they're taking on a little bit more than they can chew. I don't know. We'll see. Let's just hope it gets the polish, it gets everything it needs, and hopefully it'll be a great game. So we can just wait and see. Now, next bit of news. We've seen the Black Ops 3 reveal trailer. Brilliant. You know, um, the trailer was, was, was excellent. Paint it black, yeah, in the background music, fantastic. Really, really, really good. Um, again, it's more advanced, modern, advanced warfighter type. You know, we're, we're seeing uh, we're seeing a lot of bit cybernetic abilities and whatnot, which is cool, you know, it all looks good. It all looks very good. Um, you know, like you say, the, the, the Call of Duty um, trailers are just, just great. I haven't, uh, I've not played the last two Call of Duty games. Um, I've had a little bit of a breather from the franchise, to be honest. Um, no reason because I've just gone through every single one. Um, and, and, you know, maybe it's time for me to return to the franchise. It, it looks good. They're putting female in there as well. It's announced that there's a, a playable female in the campaign. Um, apparently for the first time, but if I remember correctly, I'm sure there was uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar as a playable character in um, Call of the Dead. I believe, um, but anyway, it's great. I mean, that's really good news. Um, putting uh, more female characters into video games is, is a great idea. I mean, I'm a father of two daughters who are just entering the, the gaming world um, at, at a very early age. And, you know, I'm in a house dominated by women and um, it's great, it's great. You know, we need to see more women in the industry. We need to see more women in games as well so um, you know I think it's good and it's about time uh, kudos to them so one of the other news we heard this week uh, is allegedly that the um, Ouya the Android uh, based TV box thingamajig is actually up for sale apparently they're hemorrhaging money and uh, they need a need a buyout so if there's anyone out there that's got a few million knocking about who wants to buy a uh, uh, an Android type um, device and save it, then, or, or maybe not save it, allegedly. Uh, you know, there you go. So that was there. Um, one of the uh, quite amusing ones of the week was um, Watch Told 2. Apparently, it's been leaked that it is actually going to happen. Um, apparently, uh, allegedly, a reporter, reporter. Uh, one of the employees have put on his LinkedIn page that he's working on Watch Dogs 2. Um, do you know what? It must be, to be honest, one of the worst kept secrets in the gaming industry because, hey, we all knew that Watch Dogs 2 was coming. Uh, but it is good to hear that it is coming, I suppose. It's, it's good to get it clarified. Um, I enjoyed Watch Dogs 3, it was great. Um, I do ever feel like it was, I did feel it was a, a missed opportunity. Um, I love the game, I think it was great, but there just didn't seem enough content in there for me, for a, for a, a big open world sandbox game you had all these wonderful um, bits of technology and things you could do around the city and I felt once you'd done the campaign once you'd done um, the side quests you were just I just felt there was no real sandbox to go back to and, and, and just play and play and play like like there is in GTA Online for example um, so yeah but I'm looking forward to it because it is the first in a franchise I think sometimes you can't expect the first in a franchise to just blow you away so hopefully, you know, when it comes back, you know, we'll get more. As Assassin's Creed 
was. I mean, I loved Assassin's Creed when it first came out, and then Assassin's Creed 2 came out, and it was blew everyone away. There was the, the amount of content and everything in there was, was tremendous. So let's hope for that on Watch Dogs 2. Really enjoyed the first one. Let's, let's look forward to the second one. Um, also, it was announced that um, Five Nights at Freddy 4 is happening. So that's going to be delivered. There's a lot of people out there that would love to love to see another one of them. I know a few people myself that would. So that's that's about it for this week. This is um, what I picked up. Uh, there's a lot more out there, but that's what I picked up and wanted to speak about. Um, finally, I haven't heard anything about um, Fallout 4 this week, which I'm disappointed about. And also, I've heard nothing about a new Red Dead game either, which I'm also disappointed about. But if anyone's heard anything, please let me know and put it in the comments. So this is weekly gaming news. We're a massive trigger. Hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, please like, please subscribe. If uh, it's a load of crap and everyone hates it, then yeah, I'm not going to do it again. Um, but there you go. <laughs> Enjoy. Goodbye, everybody.